Hello, everybody. This is Ayn, and I have the pleasure to present our paper entitled as Second Order Security with Almost No Fresh Randomness, which is a joint work with Amir Moradi. Masking schemes are one of the most popular content measures against side channel analysis, and which is based on uh, randomizing sensitive data during the execution of the cipher. So in masking a scheme, we usually divide the sensitive variable into some shares and the which make or forces the adversary to recombine the shares to recover the key. But um, how we can evaluate a given mask design? So to this end, probing model was proposed. So adversary can probe D intermediate values and each probe are exact and independent. And it has been shown that security in this model also provides security in other models. And if any decombination of intermediate values does not reveal anything about the secret, then the design is secure uh, against this or their side channel attack. And due to its a simple uh, basis and sim due to its uh, simplicity and um, its abstraction, probing model is basis for many proofs in side channel analysis. However, uh, it does not properly work in hardware implementations. Um, the reason behind this is glitches. Glitches are unwanted um, transition at the output of a combinatorial circuit. And uh, this fact usually or mainly due to the unbalanced uh, path of the input of a combinatorial circuit. So in this model, when a probe placed on a gate, it propagates backward up to last synchronization point. So here is a simple um, logic circuit. So if you probe the output or one of the output, the probe pro propagates backward and the adversary have information about the all four input bits that are involved in the calculation of uh, original probe. Threshold implementation is the first methodology which is immune against glitches. TI or threshold implementation is based on three condition, correctness, non-completeness, and uniformity. And the number of input share depends on the algebraic degree of the target function and also uh, the security order D. However, D plus one sharing is independent of the algebraic degree of the target function. And I, here I brought a simple two input and gate first order secure design with a single bit fresh mask. So in this methodology, the mask version is divided into two parts. One is called component function. So you can hear one of them here with this box. And we have a register layer and uh, each component function should be registered. And then we have a compression layer to generate two output shares. It has been shown that uh, we can have a first order secure to input and get without fresh mask in this uh, paper. And the question is, can we extend it to the second order or not? So here I recommend to watch my presentation um, about the paper reconsolidating first order masking a scheme, because this is the extension of that algorithm and probably it might be helpful to watch it before uh, watch this video. So 
let's start with a very simple to input AND gate. And we would like to have a second order realization of two input AND gate with three shares. So it forces us to use nine component function, as you can see here, to have a second order non-completeness. So the construction will be something like this. We have nine component function, a register layer here, and the compression layer here. So we want an algorithm to find a uniform sharing, which means that X, X1, X0, and X2 should be uniform and also the entire design should be glitch extended probing secure. So to this end, we follow blue steps. We make the set FL, which means that F0 to set F8, because we have nine component function and each of which includes all two input constant for your coordinate functions. So for example, for F0, which uh, gets A0 and B0, we have four different coordinate function, namely A0, B0, A0, B0, plus A0, A0, B0, plus B0, and also A0, B0, plus A0, plus B0. So the coordinate of each set is one. And then if we assume that F0, F1, and F2 are compressed. Then we search for a topple, which is glitch extended probing secure, and also their XOR, which means that in this case, if I go back to the last slide, X0 is a balance function, which means that the output has as many as one as zero. So what uh, the glitch extended probing secure means, so we have this construction. So uh, it should be secure when I, when the attacker put two probe on uh, one in, on um, F0 and one on F1. And because F1 and F0 are second order non-complete, so we don't need to check this one as it at most have two shares out of three shares. So the next, one that we should check is one probe on the XOR in the compression layer and one in the component function. So because of a glitch extended probing model, this probe will expand to three here. And we have to check these four um, probes and check the security of them. And then we have to check the next one and also the probe on the F2, which is a component function. Once we find, find the tuple which fulfills these uh, checks and also secure in glitch extended probing model and also their X or which means that X0 is balance function, then we add these, these functions to the set F012. And do, we do the same to make two other sets. And as the last step, we search for the topples whose XOR make a correct sharing. So in threshold implementation, we make something correct and non-complete. And then we search for uniform sharing by adding uh, correction terms. But here we at first have something non-complete and second order secure in glitch accident probing model and also uniform. And then we find uh, something correct and we see whether is there any correction or not. But it's not the end. We have to check some more um, probes. So we get the first element from this set and the next one from the other set and the last element from the last set. So 
so far we check whether this construction, this construction and this construction is second order secure or not. But we have to check whether if one probe is X0, which is expanded to three probes here, and also one probe on the other element, which means F0 here, F3 here, uh, is secure or not. So we have to do these checks as well. And then the other probe on this one and this one. And also we have to put another probe on X1 and these four should be checked, but this one expands to three more probes. So this set of six probes should be checked whether it's secure or not. And basically it has identical joint uh, identical joint probability distribution or not. Once we have a secure design, which means that this element and this element is secure, we should do the same for this element and this one, basically one probe here in the X0, which is expanded to three, and then one in each com component function and one in X2. And also we have to check this element and with this element and see whether it's second order secure or not. And the last step is whether this uniform or not. And if it was uniform and also have a correct sharing, then we found a solution. So as you can see, compared to the first order security, it has way more checks and the complexity of the algorithm is pretty high. So the application of this technique on two input and get with, without fresh maths and with a single bit fresh math leads to no solution, but we have, we have found many solutions with two fresh mask bits. For and XOR function, which is a RB plus C for input variables RB and C, uh, we have millions of solutions without fresh masks. So this motivated us to apply our technique to four bit quadratic bijections. And we know we have uh, six classes of quadratic bijections which means that uh, using one of these classes and two affine functions, we can build any four-bit quadratic bijections. So we start with the uh, simplest one, which has only one coordinate function, which is, uh, which is quadratic here. And we already studied an and x or which is basically this coordinate function, but um, all solutions are not necessarily a joint, uh, a jointly uniform solution. So we search for a um, uniform sharing and we found more than 500 solution, which is the second order secure and also fulfill the uh, joint uniformity and of course, without any fresh masks. So we further studied the next one. This one is a more, a bit more uh, complicated. It has two coordinate function with, uh, with algebraic degree of two. And of course it requires more checks on, because the attacker can uh, put one probe on this coordinate function and one in this coordinate function. Um, and basically one on the compression layer of the first and one on the component function of the second one. And the other uh, possibility is to put one probe on the compression layer of this coordinate function and one and on the compression layer of this function. We also found many solutions without fresh masks. And we also applied our technique to uh, other quadratic bijections and we found some solutions. 
However, we found no solution for uh, Q300 and it's not possible to realize a three share second order uh, mask variant of this one because basically uh, this, the coordinate function has uh, all three uh, quadratic monomials of three inputs. But this uh, class can be decomposed into two quadratic bijection, and we can make those uh, decomposed functions a second order secure. But at the composition, we need some fresh masks. So here we have F and G, which is quadratic. So we should add some fresh mass in the compression layer and store the result in the register to make sure that uh, the design, the whole design is still second order secure. So F is second order secure, G is second order secure, but composing them not necessarily is second order secure. So because of that, in the compression layer, we add some fresh mass, store the result in the register, uh, before giving it to the next function. And if the output of the G also goes to the another function, nonlinear function, then we should add some more fresh mask here. So as a case study, we applied our algorithm to Ketchog and um, Ketchog has a five bit S box with quadratic coordinate functions and we have designed a two share, which means a first order and three share, which is a second order round based implementation of Keshag without any fresh mass. I would like to highlight that this is the first time the second order secure Keshag without any fresh mass is presented. So here is the, the synthesis result. So as you can see, we have we use no fresh mask, the area overhead is roughly the same, but we have a bit more delay or basically the critical pass. So the next case study is Eskini. The four bit box of Eskini can be decomposed into two quadratic function, as you can see here, and three affine functions and all affine functions are bit permutations and negation of the input and output. So this means that we can construct a skinny um, encryption function with only eight bit fresh mass, as you can see here. And, and as I said before, we have to add fresh mass at the interconnection of the two quadratic function to ensure the security. And because affine functions are just bit permutation, we don't need to place any register here. So basically we have one state register before the S box and two register layers before the compression and also one register after compression of the first quadratic bijection. So the next case study is Midori. It's pretty similar to the Skinny. We can decompose it into two quadratic function. However, uh, affine function are not just bit permutation like Midori. So we can decompose it in two quadratic function and basically integrate the A3 into the uh, this quadratic function and also A2 to the, the other one and make the G and F. So basically we have two new quadratic bijections and we can apply our algorithm on it. And uh, we found more solution and actually we need more checks because of A1 because the attacker can uh, put a probe on A1, on the XOR, and put one um, probe on the compression layer of, of F or compression layer of G. So we have found several solutions for F and G. And as I said before, we need 8-bit 
fresh mass to uh, connect or basically compose the G and F and the result of the A1 should be stored in the register. Here's, here is the general structure of the Midori. As, as I said, the output of A1 should be stored in the register at the interconnection. We need some fresh masks. And before connection, we always need register to ensure uh, glitch extended probing security. So the next case studies are present and prints. And present spots also can be decomposed into two quality bijection like Midori and Skinny. And I'm not going to repeat uh, the procedure for the present spots. And for uh, prints, we, um, in the encryption function of prints, both spots and its inverse are used. So as, as a matter of fact, none of them can be decomposed into two quadratic bijections. So um, we decompose it, the S box inverse into three quadratic bijection, which means that A, G, and F are quadratic bijection and we have an input A1. And we should store the, uh, the result of the A1 to the register and then um, compose the F, G, and H. And as before, at the interconnection of F and G and G and H, we need fresh mass to ensure the security. To uh, implement the s -box, we used uh, the affine equivalence property of the s -box and s -box inverse of prints, which means that, which means that with affine function A, we can implement S in the round function. So basically we implement a secure version of S1 and we place A at the input and the output of the S inverse to implement the S. So here is the um, result. Um, our S kidney have, has a secure order three with only three shares. We need only eight bit per S box and the same hole for the midori and present, but prince um, is decomposed to three quadratic functions. And as you can see, the number of fresh mass is reduced and the area overhead is roughly the same as the state of the art and is way better than uh, some proposed uh, designs. And actually the throughput of our design is the most in the prints. We have a uh, work on present, which this is only an S-Box implementation, which needs more than 500 bit and more uh, around 150 clock cycle to perform only one present S-Box, which is second order secure, which is uh, the cost of our implementation uh, is extremely lower um, compared to the state of the art. So we evaluate all our uh, S-Box construction with Silver, which is a verification tool and does not simplify anything and has not any false positive or uh, false negative. And we check our construction under the glitch extended probing model. And because the analyzing uh, full encryption module is not possible with Silver, we uh, implemented our design in FPGA and collected traces and performed the t-test and all of the design were secure yeah, using uh, 100 million traces. So in this paper, we introduce a methodology to achieve three share second order secure implementation of quadratic functions uh, without any fresh mask but we need a uh, fresh mass when we are going to compose them. We also presented first order and second order secure design of Keshog without any fresh mask. We also applied our technique on some lightweight block cipher like skinny, midori, present and prints. 
and presented second order variant of them. Thank you all for watching my presentation. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any question or if you have any suggestion. Thank you very much.